Hey everybody, my name is Ethan Walker and welcome to my channel. Wow, that is crazy to me that I'm even saying that because I have talked about doing a YouTube video for so, so, so long and I have just now decided to put um, multiple videos of content together to actually create a video for YouTube. So with that being said, the video you're about to watch um, is about my thoughts while I was inside of a Skywheel in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. I was on uh, a little bit of a vacation. I was helping a friend to a wedding and I got some time to myself and I got to just relax and, you know, um, tell you guys some thoughts I have been thinking about. So hopefully you enjoy the video. Make sure you subscribe below. My tag will be at the end of the video. And thanks for watching. You guys, I'm in the sky wheel and I'm scared. Just kidding. I actually love riding with the sky wheel. I ride them at the beach. I ride them everywhere I go. I can't wait to show you guys the view from the top. I think the worst feeling ever is being like stuck in the air, like hanging, like look. Like. because they're loading more people. Oh, this kills me. I hate sitting in the middle of the air. Like, it's so weird to me. I kind of feel like Spider-Man though, for real. Like, he was my favorite superhero. I really feel like I have a fucking power just in the middle of the air right now. Oh, I have to pee. <laughs> oh. Oh, we are moving. It's so slow, but we're moving. Oh my god, I think I'm gonna be sick. Oh jeez, I should've went the other way. Oh. I low-key love heights though. Like, I have always, now I do a lot of, oh shit, damn, we're stuck. Now I do a lot of stuff by myself, okay? And I wanted to make it a point to say this in this series of snaps, okay? But, um, and I'm trying to be calm right now because I'm also high as f and now I'm at the top of this f***ing Ferris wheel. It's so scared. Anyway, back to what I was saying. Oh, I parked right over there. Oh, it's an unfarm walk it off. Um, anyway, so never be afraid to do shit by yourself. The reason I do so much shit by myself is I'm confident. I'm I'm confident and I am comfortable with myself, who I am as a person, my sexuality, my gender identity. I'm comfortable with all that. When I walk down the street and people stare, and I don't say that cockily because I don't like it when people stare at me, but obviously I'm in Pigeon Forest, Tennessee with make- I'm a guy with makeup, diamond earrings, and a, and a bag, okay? Yes, a bag. Um, this bag is a whole ass mood, okay? And so when I'm strutting down, you know, the mall strip, and people are staring at me, I don't stare back. I just put on a happy face and I keep going because people see that I'm different and people know, people stare. I don't have to have somebody with me all the time though. I would love to have somebody with me every second of every day. But if you can't love yourself by yourself, then you can't love yourself with somebody and you can't love somebody. So, and that took me a long time to learn, okay? But don't be dependent on anybody. Do stuff by yourself, you deserve it. And while we're being metaphorical and shit, okay, I so needed this because I saw the sky wheel and I was like, I'm gonna go walk the island. The island is not really that big if you've ever been to Pigeon Forge. Um, it's really not that big. But I was like, I just wanna look at the sky wheel. I just wanna take a picture of it, right? And then I was like, no, you know what? It was like 12 bucks. I was like, I'm gonna ride it, okay? And this is metaphorical to me because I feel like king of the world sometimes and then sometimes I feel like I'm at the very bottom, okay? And I know a lot of other people feel like that too, but baby, the view, oh my God, the view on being on top, the view. Also, while we're at it, because I'm seeing all of these families and all of these like wives, like these beautiful wives with their strong, beautiful, sexy husbands, and I'm just like, I mean, I know I'm gay and I know it's gonna take a little bit of time, but like, damn, when is it gonna be my time? And I know a lot of people feel like this, and whether you're straight or you're gay, bi, whatever, it doesn't really matter, I know you still feel like this. And so, like, is it normal? Because, I want to like, want to like rush like starting a family or whatever, and I know, like, I don't even want this to be associated with like a feminine 
great because I want men and mad people with masculine identities to be able to like want a family. And so those are like normal everyday thoughts that I have like literally every single day. I think about stuff like that. And it's hard to like, you know, stay positive because it's like, yeah, I'm only 22. Yeah, I haven't even done half the shit I'm supposed to do in my life. However, it's just like, that looks like it, you know, that looks so fun to me. It, it feels like such a good feeling to have to be able to go through life with somebody and then eventually, you know, bring other people into this world or show people how to do life, you know, or how you do life and they can choose, you know, to however they want to do it. That's just so fun to me. I guess it's because I just have so much personality and I want to share it with somebody all the time, somebody that would love it genuinely and authentically. I don't know, those are just my thoughts. So I'm sitting here editing this Skywell video and I totally uh, just realized that I never told you the story about me being in a Ferris wheel when I was younger while I was in the Skywell. I filmed it on a separate occasion on my way home from Tennessee. I, that's when I filmed it. So it's getting inserted now. Good morning. So I woke up this morning, got ready, checked out of the hotel on my way back. I was watching my snap from yesterday. Y'all, I was on another level. But I got to a point and I forgot that I was supposed to tell y'all a story about me on a Ferris wheel as a child. So because I was on the sky wheel and it literally triggered some like PTSD because I had to go to the bathroom, right? So when I was younger, they had this fair come to our hometown. It's like, you know, the little traveling fairs, whatever. Well, they had a small fair, one, a big fair. Well, we were young, so parents were like, just get on the small one, whatever. Well, we got, me and my older brother got stuck at the top of the Ferris wheel because they were loading people on, right? I got scared. I had to pee. I was like five year, or six years old. Like, I was so young, but I still remember this. He started rocking it because then it's, it's external. You're not in a little gondola that's enclosed like I was for this one you are so anyway um we're at the top and like i said and it's an it's external like you know you're outside in the open you just have a bar in this middle seat like a typical ferris wheel right so we get to the top i get scared like i said i had to use the bathroom my brother starts shaking the ferris wheel and i'm like you need to stop like i have to use the bathroom so he keeps shaking it and keeps shaking it and honey, my little gay five-year-old self peed all over the place, honey. It was dripping from the top of that. It had to have been. I peed everywhere. And when we got back down to the bottom, I was like, I have to get off. Anyway, I just thought that was a fun story because like, I rode on a Ferris wheel as a child and <laughs> my brother was being mean and I pissed all over myself so the fact that I like to ride them as an adult now is kind of weird to me I don't know but you know made for a fun story time so hi right, guys thanks for watching um, you know I appreciate the views uh, if you would uh, when you get done watching this video click subscribe below definitely make sure you turn notifications on for whenever I post another video. There are loads of childhood videos just like the Ferris wheel one if you guys ever want to hear more about them. Um, and definitely I will try to make sure that there is a positive motivational message in every single video that I do. I will try because I truly think that that is how um, I got through some of the darkest times in my life and I definitely you know, just want to be here to help people. I definitely think there's not enough positivity in the world and there's definitely not enough positivity on social media. So that's really the goal here. Um, but like I said, just click subscribe below and thanks for watching.